going back to the Christmas market down in the distillery district for about what, almost two years I'd say about, about two years. So pretty excited to get back there. I used to film it every single year. This will be the first time I'll do a vlog at the Christmas market. We've been driving around like crazy. We really shouldn't have drove here. We should have just either Ubered or took the TDC because uh, they really make it difficult. They close off all these different parking lots and they close off a lot of different streets in the area. So we're gonna have to park on Queen Street and then we're gonna walk all the way down to the Christmas market, which would be like a 10, maybe 12 minute walk. Oh my God, that 10 minute walk is getting us freezing. We should have dressed warmer. It's still November. I didn't realize it would be this cold. That's why it's uh, important to always be prepared in Toronto, Canada. We're here after that cold walk at the Trinity entrance. All right, this is gonna be exciting. I, so you don't have to pay on Saturday during the day and after four, if you wanna come in the evening, then you have to pay an entry fee, I think of $11. Oh, I might be in the mood for a nice pretzel. The inn. Hi. Do you want to go for the regular salted? Salted? Yeah, I'll go for the salted one. That's everything? Yeah, that's everything. Can you open this? I'm gonna grab it. Oh, there we go, I'm gonna have a bite of this. Mmm, nice and chewy. Got a little bit of a crisp on the outside too. Dip some of that in there. There we go. So we're in a store called Burgo. And it's got tons of just little trinkets, accessories, toys, obviously. Christmas stuff as well. I would love to tell you that I'm here to shop, but to be honest, it's so cold outside that we just came inside just to get warm, but the stuff they have here is pretty cool. I have a lot of friends who totally dig this type of stuff, including me. Actually, I do love collectibles and toys like that. Well, this place here serves soft serve ice cream. I don't know if you'd be wanting to get soft serve ice cream though during the winter time, especially with these temperatures, but you know, you know, to each their own. Trying to find a place right now that serves hot chocolate. There's plenty of places, and there's one up ahead, but they have a line. Oh, it's freezing, but we really do need that hot chocolate just to warm our hands at the very least. It's called so much chocolate right here. Wow, you can just smell the chocolate when you come in here. Very aromatic. So I think the hot chocolate is about five bucks each. It's a little more expensive than like a Starbucks or obviously Tim Hortons would be a lot more expensive than that, but it is really genuine authentic chocolate very rich you can smell it in here okay so they don't have milk chocolate it's just dark chocolate and they also have a spicy one as well so it's chili pepper hot chocolate i don't know if i want that but we did both get a dark chocolate order so we'll see what it's like order number one all right here we go back to the cold mm. It's actually really nice. Did you try it yet? No. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit of a heathen. I usually like milk chocolate better, but I have to even admit to myself that this is really nice. We're gonna grab some food at Mill Street. It's a good time for lunch. They do have a ton of variety here. Uh, there's other places you can eat as well in the distillery district, but uh, this is one of my favorites. There is a bit of a wait. Pretty much every time we go to the distillery district to do anything. There's always a wait, especially this time of year. So we're on the wait list, so we're gonna receive a text once our table is ready. Just like I said, tons of waiting in the distillery district around this time of year. Now back to exploring. Ooh, should've went for some hot donuts. This tree looks a lot better at night, I'll tell you that. We do have the elves out and about. Yeah, I think they took down the rides for kids this year, unless there's one behind here. No, I think they took them all down. We got some pies and some crepes here down this alley. Oh, there's Santa. Maybe we should uh, let him know what you want for Christmas. No? I think we already got our gift. It was a Lego Home Alone set that we actually bought today. So this is a really cool spot to grab Christmas gifts for any Leaf fans here. Look at these nice sweaters. They got like a sweater jerseys, Gilmore, that's a classic. Really digging this jacket. Oh God, the hats. And if you're a Raptors fan or Lakers fan apparently, and then you can shop here as well. 
Okay, we've been summoned. You got the text on your phone? Yeah. All right, so we are now gonna be able to sit down and eat. So one thing that is really cool about Mill Street Brew Pub is that they actually recommend a drink to go with whatever food item you order. So for example, if you want the Taco Trio for $19, you would order a hazy organic IPA on the side and it's just to pair with it perfectly. I'm actually taking a break from drinking right now, so I'm probably just gonna get food and no beer. So what are you thinking? Are you thinking uh, the wings or a burger? What do you want? Yeah, it's tough because we're, yeah, we're not super hungry. We're gonna do like two appetizers, but the appetizers, there's no like complimentary appetizers. So we might just get uh, the burgers each right here. They're 19, see the starters. The wings are 20. And we're like, well, we already had a pretzel today, so we don't really want a pretzel. Uh, we don't really want poutine or fries because the wings come with fries. So yeah, we're probably just gonna get two of the burgers. Actually, you said you wanted wings. Okay, so we're gonna do wings and the burger. Buffalo hot. Really the best type of wing to get. Beautiful, I got my burger with a Caesar salad and you've got the buffalo hot wings with the fries. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, this thing is massive. Very good. Okay. How is that? Really good? Is it hot? Not really. Not really? Yeah, I find buffalo doesn't really taste that hot. It just has a nice flavor to it. Okay, we just left the Distillery District and uh, we're on our way to the car right now. It's gonna be a bit of a chilly walk. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you didn't remember to leave a like down below and we'll see you next time.